All right. Okay, uh, people. There has been uh, some, uh, I guess, controversy about how to properly install a two-piece rear main seal. So um, I'm going to clarify that. Uh, this uh, is a Chrysler, small block Chrysler LA motor, the 360. Getting ready to put the crankshaft uh, here right in it. But of course, first thing is the rear main seal. And the direction of the rear main seal, and uh, I can verify it because I've got, I've even got it on my uh, package from Felpro. But what they say is it comes, uh, what they say is it, you see this high part right here? They want that toward the front of the engine. That's that's where it seals. That is where it seals against the crank. It kind of looks like, you know, you could say, well, it looks like you, maybe if you turn it around the other way, uh, you know, it would it would uh, just kind of let the oil fall off and go back in the engine. But they just don't want to do that. So, I mean, I kind of agree that you know that does make sense. But that's not what it says to do. They want it, and I can verify that. Let's go over here. Um, sorry, I'm trying to hold this phone. But it says right here, this section right here, uh, you can see that. I wanted to show you guys that. Uh, that the large, what does that say? The large ceiling lip must be positioned toward the front of the engine. Okay? So... That, that part right there is the large, let's see here, if I get my thing here in the right place, that right there is the large part of the seal, and it's the sealing lip. So, uh, that's, that's going to seal, that's going to seal, and it is toward the front of the engine, for uh, anybody that's curious. Uh, about this so I just wanted to show that make a little quick video two-piece rear main seal LA Chrysler engine uh, Proper installation. That's that's it now You might want to take a little RTV and go along here and a little bit right there and it kind of seals the cap and you know and take a little grease and uh, Because this engine is going to be a little while before it's together, you know all together and running and they say if it's going to be more than several days to take a little grease and put it right in here. Some people, if you're just going to fire it up within a day or two, you can just get away with some pre-lube oil or 90-weight oil. Or, you know, I've used all that stuff, and it's fine. But uh, if, if it's going to be a little while, use, use a little bit of wheel bearing grease right here, and it'll, it'll stay. But don't put it together dry, whatever you do. All right, that's it. I appreciate it. Thanks for watching, and I hope that clears it up. There does seem to be some uh, back and forth on the internet about it, and uh, it'll probably work either way. If you did get it in there backwards, it, it seems like that lip is still going to seal against the crank, but yeah, I probably have done it over my life the other way, but I've never really had it leak. But that's, that's how they want it anyway. That's how they want it. All right, thank you. Talk to you later. See you tomorrow or something. <laughs> Next time I do a video.